So if you've got the action four or the action five, have you ever noticed that sometimes the results are really inconsistent, particularly in mediocre light or low light? Well, so did I, and that led me to do a bunch of tests, and I've come up with some incredible fixes for it. So I'm gonna share with you four examples, one in full automatic mode, then I'm gonna do it in manual mode, then I'm gonna do both of those settings in D-Log, and you're gonna be truly amazed at the results. Then we come back into the studio, a few geeks out there, stick around, because I'm going to explain exactly why that's happening and why this fix works. So let's go do it. Okay, for my first example, I'm setting this camera in normal 10-bit mode, otherwise it's my normal driving modes. So I've got um, Rocksteady stability on, and uh, I'm letting the settings be automatic now. It's a nice drizzly greyish day, so the camera's got to work a little bit harder rather than being in bright sunlight, so this is perfect for this test. And already I can see that we're at one two fortieth of a second shutter speed and the ISO is at 3800, so I'll be able to show you that on the screen recording. So let's just drive a little bit, and I just want to really pick out, particularly in the blacker areas, if there's much noise in the footage and what the exposure is doing. So what we'll do is we'll just park up now and then we'll put it over to a manual setting and see what happens when we reduce that shutter speed. And also I'll use D-Log as well. I'm still in the same colour mode of normal at 10 bit and I've kept the uh, frames per second at 25 frames per second and now we're in manual exposure so I'm following the 180 shutter rule so I've set my um, shutter at um, 1 50th of a second and um, I'm just gonna let that record for a few minutes and we can check the dark areas um, I've set the ISO at 1600 so we've reduced that massively and so we can now see what noise we get in the darker areas uh, it says I'm slightly underexposed but we can always uh, adjust that slightly in post-production and now I'll just do a recording in uh, D-Log as well to see how that uh, looks by comparison and then we'll put a LUT over that. Same settings but I've just adjusted the colour mode to D-Log 10-bit and that's allowed me to drop the ISO to 800 now and that's saying my exposure should be correct so let's see what that looks like in post-production. I'll just do a little drive and to see how um, the lighting changes and the results we get from that. So now I've just adjusted the ISO into auto, but I've fixed my shutter count. So as the light changes, that'll adjust automatically. But obviously because we've fixed that shutter, it's gonna keep the ISO as low as possible. So amazing results, right? Well, why is that happening? Well, these are action cameras and they don't have a gimbal on them. So the way they work is they need a high shutter count because it wants lots of sharp images to be able to do the stabilization. And that's why it shoots in a very wide field of frame as well. So it can crop that in in its stabilization. So what we need to do is therefore trick the camera so it'll let in more light and not boot up the ISO. So that's why we bring that shutter count right down and then it won't need the ISO to be so high because it's going to be letting in more light. So basically that's how these are working. 
So I hope you found that interesting, that was really useful. If you want to see more videos on action cameras, there's a playlist over there. Please show me the love, subscribe to the channel up here, and I look forward to seeing you over there.